Hey everybody, it's Tuesday again, and that means it's time for another fight of the week. This week is, of course, Christmas week, so what better way to celebrate than by unwrapping a ton of fantastic fights that you guys can enjoy throughout the week. Now, this first video that I'm going to tell you guys about is actually not a fight in and of itself. It's a trailer, but I think you guys will be able to forgive me for it because it's done by Marshall Club called Greatest Adversary, and if you guys even take a look at the trailer, you'll know exactly why I had to tell you about it. It's old school to the max, and it is just so much fun to see these guys paying homage to the movies that we grew up with and it looks like it's going to be a very solid film not quite sure how the story is going to be but to be honest i really don't care i just want to see andy lee and everybody else in marshall club knock it out of the park and i think they can especially if you've seen any of their old fight scenes they're they're just done so well that there's nothing else i can say about it check out the channel if you haven't before you guys will definitely not be disappointed by what marshall club delivers Moving forward, though, we also have some short films through, uh, that came out throughout the week. First one is called 7-7. Now, this one is done by Cinematic Fight Studio, and they are known for their test fights, but they finally got together and created another short fight for us to check out, and it's done really well. I liked how the choreography worked. I liked how the payoff was at the end. It lets you know why the the uh, title was 7-7, and... Um, I just feel like they're getting a feel for what they want to do. Hopefully they'll be able to take this in a new and creative direction and kind of tell another story with it uh, rather than just having two guys duke it out and then kind of have a little tie-up story at the end. It would be cool to see kind of that build up to the fight. But for what it is, it's done very well and I think you guys will enjoy it. If you guys are fans of Mac Fight Studio, this is definitely the next step for them and I think they're continuing on the right path. So be sure to check them out. If you guys like Western style action though, you definitely need to check out a new video by Lunar Stunts Action Cinema called El Guerrero. Now this one is much more straightforward than the typical comedy approach that you see from Lunar Stunts Action Cinema, but it actually pays off because of the tone of the short here. Now it is a one-on-one -on -one fight and again, it it's done very well. I did feel like it was a little bit long for me, but that's just kind of my own criticism. But I figured I'd just throw it out there. You guys may like it for what it is. When I, when I was younger, that sounds weird. But back in the day, I used to love the fights. The longer, the better. But this one felt like it could have been toned a little bit differently. But other than that, it's really cool. I like how they ended it. I liked what the payoff was. And it just ends on such a strong note that you can't really fault it for that. But if you guys like Lunar Stunts Action Cinema, it's definitely a good video to watch. And something you can share with your friends to get them interested in the genre. Next up though, we also had a short video called Knuckleheads, and this one looks fantastic. I don't even know what I can say about it. It's I think it was done in like ultra high def because it looks ridiculous, but the fight's done well, the choreography's fantastic, the, uh, the music just adds more impact to it. The ending to this one is a little strange, I'll give it that, but it's supposed to be futuristic, it's supposed to be sci-fi, so some people like it, some people might not, but the fight itself is done very very well and i think you guys will enjoy it and knuckleheads is just it's so fun that you just got to sit back and enjoy it for what it is but lastly it is christmas and so what better way to celebrate than with a brand new stunt the claus video it, um it just came out recently it's called stunt the claus the unexpected visit 2014 and everything is cranked up to the next level the action the comedy the craziness is just, it's all there, and I think you guys will enjoy it. There was a Stunt the Claus video that came out last year, so if you have not seen that, be sure to check it out as well. But this year's video is just as good, just as strong, and I think it is a great way to end this holiday season with a video like that. But anyways, I am done rambling. Let me know what you guys think was the actual fight of the week this week, which one you think came out the best, the strongest, had the best hits got you the most interested in the genre whatever it is let me know i hope you guys have a great christmas or happy holidays depending on what you celebrate um i guess uh i think there's still going to be another fight of the week this year i'm not going to do the fight of the year contest i did talk about that last week but there's some other things i want to do and i'm going to have to make another video for that so this week is done i am completely done I'm going to sit back, relax, enjoy the holiday season, and I hope you guys do as well. But feel free to post in the comments if I missed anything or anything you guys want me to keep my uh, head up for. I'll definitely do it as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is Kay Miller, and that's the Fight of the Week.